So if you guys own a PS4 and you haven't used it for a while, this 3.5 update, in my opinion, has rejuvenated my thirst for the PS4. The best feature that this thing has is remote play for the PC. Now we all know we can do remote play with like the PlayStation Vita and Android devices, and there was even a way to do remote, PC, remote play PC with like a third party app, which I have um, commented on. I'll link to that in the description below. That app actually has its benefits because you can use the mouse and the keyboard. But I, what I love about the Remote Play PC, the official app that's made by Sony and that is officially you know, designed and everything works properly, is that you just set it up and you connect your PS4 controller to your computer or laptop, Mac or PC with a USB cable. So it's like good to go, it's amazing. So installation is really easy. Um, you just go to the PlayStation website, which I'll link to that website below as well. And then you just click remote play, PS4 remote play on your computer. Keep in mind, like I said, this is for PC or Mac, desktop or laptop. So if you're looking for a way to connect your PS4 to your laptop, this is now the best way to do it. No extra hardware to buy, nothing like that. Um, again, people frequently think you can plug your PS4 into your laptop via HDMI. That's not gonna happen if your H if your laptop has a normal HDMI output. HDMI output is made to output your laptop screen to a monitor. If you connect your PS4 to your laptop via HDMI, that's not gonna work. Anyway, so we have the Remote Play PC up. And what I'll do, I'm gonna record my screen so you can see it better. So let me get that set up. Okay, so I'm hitting record right now. And what I'm gonna do is click settings first. And we wanna make sure that everything's on the best resolution and best um, video quality, everything. If you have the good enough, good enough connection to handle it. So we have high 720p. Hopefully they get 1080p out one of these days. And then we also have frame rate as high, which is 60 frames per second actually. So that's good there. Um, it says connect DualShock controller to USB. So we're pressing start. It's gonna connect, and then we should be able to play our PlayStation 4 on our computer, which is pretty cool. I thought for sure that Just Cause would be like the best game to test this out with, because we all know it's like crazy action and stuff. Um, and you can get moving pretty fast with your parachute and your sling and everything. So, this actually isn't my first impression. I've played this before I made this video, and I'm thoroughly impressed on how good this thing is. Like, I played the third-party remote play PC, and like I said, I'll link to that in the description below so you can check that out too. But this is really... Okay, I just said it's really good, and now it's freezing, and the quality dropped really bad. Um... Let me make sure, because I like to run torrents and stuff in the back. Let me exit that just to see. It could also be the PlayStation service itself. Okay, we're, we seem to be doing good now. But like I was saying, this is really cool because if it works this well, you now have the ability to play your PlayStation like when you are on your laptop. So you could theoretically play when you're on vacation. You could even play at work. I mean, if you can install an application on, on your computer at work, you can now play your PlayStation at work. And this is pretty cool. So I just wanna do like something really high speed to see if anything jerks. Oh shit. That wasn't high speed. Oh well. Here, let me get moving in my uh, parachute. Yeah, this is... This is good. Like, this is very playable. Like, this isn't just, like, a type of thing where it's, you know, work in progress, just showing what we can do with technology. Like, I would... I could play a whole game start to finish like this. It's not bad at all. And like I said, like if you're doing, if you're like that, those types of people that can multitask on the computer, 
like I can basically you know have this up and my screen is big enough to where I could have um, you know another browser up I could be doing a homework even I could be watching a video as well so that's very cool and you, you saw here that there wasn't really too many issues so that's there. You know, let's try out. You want to try out another game? Um, Drive Club. Honestly, have not played this game at all. That's really bad. I bought it a while ago, and <laughs> I've played it like once, like the tutorial or whatever. Oh yeah, this is good. This is super smooth. And y'all can't judge me that I'm losing because, like I said, I've never played this game. <laughs> But yeah, this, it's like I have this, the, it's like the PS4 is connected to my monitor. And obviously it's not full screen, so if I did make it full screen, the quality would be degraded because this is a 1080p monitor. Um, but if I played farther away, it wouldn't be an issue. Okay, that's really all I need to see. Like, I can work with this. This is a good update. 3.5 update, that's what you need. It makes your PS4 a whole new beast. This is awesome. And even the menu, like, you can just tell how smooth it is by going through the menu. There's hardly any hiccup at all. That's amazing. Library, here's all my games. So that's awesome. I've said that enough. Sony is not paying me to say all this. I'm just really excited. And now this opens up really cool opportunities for everybody because now you can technically record your gameplay. You can do a live Twitch stream. You can do a live YouTube stream because it's on your computer. And now you have the power to record it, stream it, do whatever you want. Because like right now, I'm recording my gameplay from my computer using a program called Bandicam, and that's a program that records computer stuff and not PlayStation stuff. I don't have a capture card, I don't have anything like that. So that's mucho awesome. Sony, get your act together though, get some 1080p. Even if it's 1080p, 30 frames per second, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see full screen graphical fidelity. And that's all I have to say about that. Just wanna do a quick little video about this, remember, in the links in the description below I'm going to put a link to download this software for yourself all you need is a 3.5 update this is free software officially from Sony no worries about uh, viruses stuff like that and I'll also put a link below to my other video where I did remote play PC which is actually a third party software but it's also something worth checking out if you're into this remote play PC because it does allow uh, mouse and keyboard support which depending on your game depending on what you're doing you know if you're playing a game at work and you're not supposed to that may be a good opportunity to do so so see you guys later subscribe to my channel for more videos i make all types i have over 400 videos on my channel so if you love tech be sure you subscribe be sure you thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye gotta unplug this bye